This is Duke University. Even though most life on Earth was wiped out by a meteor strike 66 million years ago, a few birds survived that event and went on to found the 10,000 species of birds we know today. This week, an international team of scientists is redrawing the family tree of birds all the way back to that event using the latest gene sequencing techniques. Duke's Eric Jarvis is one of three leaders of an effort that included more than 200 scientists from 80 institutions. So now for the first time we have the most highly resolved tree for birds and it demonstrates or confirms that vocal learning has evolved multiple independent times amongst birds. At least twice, once in the hummingbirds and again in the common ancestor of songbirds and parrots. With the help of BGI in China, the team has sequenced the complete genomes of 48 species of birds representing every order of the bird family tree. The new genomic data also show the development of flight, how penguins adapted to cold and swimming, the coevolution of color vision and colorful plumage, and many other new details. The hardest thing that we've had to do is just dealing with this amount of genomic DNA, um, all this genomic data, and just being able to handle it, and being able to process it, and store it, and um, be able to do the analysis on all these, all these different genomes. In the past, everyone's been doing one or two genes at a time. Of course, now we're doing 8,000, 10,000, 20,000 genes at a time, comparing over 48 genomes. So this is really an exciting time for uh, genomics and using birds as a model to understand complex traits. Reporting for Duke Research, I'm Carl Bates. Produced by Duke University.